Let's go over to the doctor. Fuck more of its assistant, Kugu. Be flash. Watch yourself around the dock, and I won't have to get medieval on your face. Where is the dock? I think the dock is missing. The bookcase. Oh, some grenades, yes. No one minds, I'll take those. Check down here? What are you down here for? I sent you down here. Body parts almost ready to go to the hub. Of course, that's why I'm here. Iguana man Bob send you. Be happy. Lots of good meat. Of course, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so it seems like... Seems like the doctor is selling human meat. Okay, this is Doc Morbid. This is the guy that trains Razo. Maybe you shouldn't be talking to him. Doctor is out. What? Guess he's asleep, but the animation isn't rendering properly. Oh no. The one on the stick is human flesh. Oh no. Oh, let me get out of here. I wonder if I can tell this guy about it. Was everyone just cool with this guy selling human flesh or iguana meat? Apparently, I just had nothing. 7.30. I guess it's still nighttime at 7. I'll come back around 9. Try to talk to the doctor about his iguana meat for shipment for iguana bob. I guess it's a good time just to... Head over into dark water. Cut off some of my goods. Welcome to Junktown, stranger. What can I help you with? You, my friend. The name's Killian. Killian Darkwater. Killian. I'm the mayor of this fine town. And who might you be? Hey, Killian. I'm Ted Bundy. How about telling me about this town? Well, Junktown's not much, but it's home. Mostly we trade with people or let them forget their troubles for a bit. Of course, we have our share of problems. What problems you From have? outside, we've had the occasional to do with the cons, but they've been pretty quiet lately. Inside, trouble's been from the skulls. And I hear some strange things happening down by the hub, but they haven't affected us yet. Knock on my mother-in-law's head. Can you tell me anything else about the skulls? The Skulls are a bunch of punks who work for Gizmo. They don't cause that much trouble, but me and Lars keep an eye on them. Lars? Is that the guard at the entrance? Well, Lars heads up the guards here. He's a good guy. Pretty trustworthy. Well, tell me a bit about this town. Well, Junk Town's not much, but it's home. Mostly we trade with people or let them forget their troubles for a bit. Of course, we have our share of problems. Problem? From outside, we've had the occasional to do with the cons, but they've been pretty quiet lately. Inside, trouble's been from the skulls, and I hear some strange things happening down by the hub, but they haven't affected us yet. Knock on my mother-in-law's head. Okay, tell me about the cons. Well, the cons are a bunch of bullies who live outside to the east. They've been trying to take over Junk Town for as long as I can remember, but... They never make it past the gates. Oh, the hub? Well, the hub's the main place for trade. Anything you don't find here, you'll probably find in the hub. Not sure how safe it is nowadays with all those strange things going on. What strange thing? Well, there's some rumors coming up from the hub. Caravans disappearing, people being butchered. Even some talk of big green monsters who eat human flesh. All sorts of weird stuff. 
big green monsters you own the store you bet may not be as big as some in the hub but people usually find what they're looking for take a look around Sure thing show you what you got oh this sketchy guy here Oh, he shot me! Kick him, pull out my knife. I'm gonna try to get out of the way so that I don't get shot. And 400 experience for helping him kill the assassin. I also took a bullet to the back of... Oh! Well, cool, Killian. I loot this guy. Taking his gun. I deserve it for it. Listen, thanks for saving my life. It's a mighty brave thing to do. Now, it looks like we've got ourselves a situation here. I know Gizmo's behind this, but I need proof. You interested in helping? I'm in. You have to wear a recorder and tape Gizmo confessing. Or plant this wiretap in his office. Either way. And we got him. All right. I owe you. Here's the bug in the wiretap. You let me know when it's done. Well, do. Good luck. Yeah, for sale, though. Okay, he has lots of money, so I'm going to sell all my junk. Everything I won't need. I don't need a rifle rounds. Neither me nor Ian can use it. I only have a fair trade. Get everything I want. Head up to the hotel. Check it out. If there's anything we can loot here. Hey darling, how you doing? It's fine. We'll be doing better. Maybe I can help you with that. Maybe you can. How much you charge? Oh baby, if you gotta ask more than you can afford. Maybe next time, sugar. See you around. Who are you? What are you doing here? I'm Ted Bundy, new in town. Apparently so, since everyone knows that this place is the territory of the Skulls. You better beat it before someone decides to hurt you. The Skulls? Who are they? That's us. We're the meanest gang in town. Actually, we're the only gang in town. But nobody messes with us. So you pretty much have the run of the town, huh? You bet nobody messes with us. Well, except for Killian. But he's cool and all. He like, he's like the sheriff, man. We do whatever he wants. Who all is in the gang? Well, there's Victor, the shark, who hangs out at the scum pit. Vinny, too. And a couple of other guys who stop by from time to time. Here's a scum pit. Oh, the scum pit is a sleazy bar north of here. Near Gizmo's Casino. So what is it that you guys do? We just hang out and sometimes we play games at Gizmo's. Or have some fun over at the scum pit. Sometimes we do our jobs for Gizmo. Or some traveler. Victor likes stalking people too. Come to think of it. You might want to stay away from him. You work for Gizmo. What can you tell me about him? He's this huge fat guy that runs the casino. He wants to run junk town, but Killian keeps him in line. He pays pretty well, though occasionally he hires Vinny or Victor to deal with people for him. If they have been a problem, like one stranger who showed up here a few weeks ago. I ask about the stranger? Okay. Why do you hang out with these guys? We're like a family. We take care of each other. Well, except for Shark, who always breaking things. And Victor, who looks at people funny. But Vinny is cool, and we do stuff together. You know, we're like friends and stuff. Ah, well. Good luck with that. See ya. Anything else you can tell me? Oh, it's you again. You know, it's probably not healthy to hang out here if you're not one of the skulls, and you're not. What you've been up to lately? Not much, actually. There's not much to do. I mean, Shark has been causing some fights at the scum pit, as usual. But what, uh, what else If there's is there to do around here? You can always 
try doing something else. You must have some talents or hobbies. Well, I do sort of like to draw. Vinny says I'm pretty good to cook. But I mean, hey, we have fun stuff, you know? But what will you do when you get older? Where will your life go? How will you make money? Um, well, I never gave it much thought. I mean, Vinny and Victor make some money and Shark occasionally does some bodyguarding for visitors here. I don't know. You should probably get out while you still can. I guess I never thought about it much. Okay, let me see if everything she just told me maybe get me some more info. Let's go down to the guard, to Lars, and see what he has to say. I guess I don't have any info. Can we talk to the doc? What time is it? Well, 7.30. I don't think the doc is out yet. I'll take a little peek. Now we'll head up north towards Gizmos. Doc isn't out. Back at the hostel or the hotel. Let's see if I can just walk in here. Put my weapon away. Be a young man with a tattoo and a bad attitude. Let's go talk to him. You're on skills, turf stranger. You better talk quick. Skulls? Who are you guys? We are the one and only junk town gang. We have the run of the streets and we rule the city at night. Oh, sorry. Thought this city was run by Gizmo after hours. That slob can't even stand up by himself. We're the muscle in this town. We take what we want. You have, sort of, you have some sort of deal with Killian? We don't bother Killian and he doesn't bother us as long as we keep it low key. You get me? I get it, all right. You have to hide from him. We don't take that from anybody, least of all Killian. Just because he thinks he's a glorified sheriff doesn't mean that he controls the skulls. Sorry, didn't mean to get you riled up. Well, let's head up to Gizmos. Check it out. Maybe check out the scum pit. Should be up to the north here. Gain 100 experience points for helping Phil solve his canine conundrum. That sure is a nice pooch you have there. Oh, it seems like... The dog is following me now. He is my new companion. Let's talk to him. Wouldn't trust that beast if I were you. That thing is a killer. Well, that's sort of what I can use. I need a killer on my team. Let's head up to the bar. Is he leave me alone? Well, it is locked. But this door on the other side seems to be unlocked. A man with vile teeth. A hey, fresh bait. So what brings you to our territory, chum? Here for a little fun? At your expense, of course? Actually, I'm here to kick butt and chew gum. You can gas the rest. Do it, then. Don't bring your fist to a knife fight, boy. Get him, dog. Don't you hit dog meat. A pistol and a sledgehammer. Not something Ted Bundy would use. But I'll sell it. You mean I can't get in there? Neil is asleep. Maybe he's awake during the night only. Guess let's get out of here. We'll get into Gizmo's club. We're outside Gizmos, let's head on in. A nice little casino. The weapons in here. Oh, sorry about that, buddy. Put that away. Don't you worry. What? Can you spare a few caps? What, are you stupid? Go away. That's not nice of you, my friend. Come on in and talk to Gizmo. What do you want? I'm a busy man. Here to talk to you about an attempt on Kalian's life? I don't know what you're talking about. Well, let's talk, take a hypothetical situation. Such as? Well, let's say you did try to kill Kalian and your assessment failed. That means you need a new one to do the job, right? 
And let me guess, you're that someone. I can kill him quicker than you can spit. Well, how can I trust you? Because I've been around, I've killed before. <laughs> All right, we can do this. But you work for me. You better know that nobody ever double crosses Gizmo and lives to talk about it. You got me? Of course, but first I need to know why you want him dead. That, that's easy. I want him dead because he cramps my business. So, what are you doing for me? Sure. It's a job. Good. Return with the dog tags he wears around his neck as proof. And we never had this conversation. You don't mention this to anyone. No one double crosses me. No we'll done. one. At this point, Pip Bundy. Pip Bundy likes the idea of killing the traitor. But ultimately, he thinks the traitor's worth more than this fat gizmo doesn't even have his own muscle that talk bad about him behind his back. Let's head on over here to the ring. And it's Ted Bundy just taking a look around. I'm Saul. So you've been living in Junktown long? Been here all my life, grew up here. What can you tell me about Junktown? Mm, well, stranger, I work for Gizmo. He's the owner of that great casino there. Pays good money to fighters too. What else do you want to know? How did you become a boxer? I was always given into scuffles with my brothers when I was grew up. One time, a small band of raiders attacked John Cowan, and I beat one of them into submission before he could get his gun on me. Just luck, really, but Gizmo sponsored organized fights, and I needed some money in boxing ever since. So what is there to do in town? If you are just looking for supplies, you should try to try Killian Darkwater's store off southeast of here. You can also get a night's sleep at the trash house near here. If you are planning to stay a while, you might want to get a drink over at the scum pit. Watch out for the skulls. What are the skulls? The skulls are a bad bunch who hang out in the back of the trash house at the scum pit. Some at the scum pit. Watch out for them. They likely playing with knives. They like playing with loud knives. Anything else you can tell me about it? Can you tell me a little about your boss? Gizmo's Casino is where everyone goes to gamble. There's many games, and you can have a great time. It's the best place this side of the hub. So we have info. On Gizmo, we have him on tape saying that he wants Kaylin killed. Killian, let's head down and talk to Mr. Killian. Killian, we're back. So, did you get the evidence? Where did? Which bug or tape? I, I bugged him. I got the confession. Let's hear it. Or tape. I like it. That's the first time I've been happy to hear his voice. Thanks, friend. Now, time for you and me to take care of the other business. One suit of leather armor. That would be nice. Stim packs would also be nice, but I haven't used many yet, and I can always buy them. I guess I could also buy the suit of armor. But I could sell it later for stim packs when I upgrade. Yeah, I'll take the suit well, of leather thanks armor. Again. Well, listen, I'm going to take the guards and run Gizmo and his cronies out of town. I could use another gun. You up for it? Might be good for a laugh. Under the pins, I'm you willing to give well, me. Well, I can pay you the standard rate for mercenary work. 500 caps. Um, Good enough. Go see Lars. He'll give you the details. Will do, thanks. Doing 500 points of experience. Going to help take down Gizmo? You bet. Let's nail that pub. All right, let's do it. So it comes down to this, Kalian. Well, I never could have put up with your stink, and now I'm gonna put an end to it. 
I'm just gonna go stand right beside him. Get ready to attack him. Gonna stay out of the crossfire. my knife. Just punched him in the face. Critical damage for one blowing out through his armor. Yeah, stab him in the face. No! No! Okay, good. I thought Ian was going to start attacking him for some reason. Thanks for all your help. Here's 500 caps. You're always welcome to Junk Town, friends. So we've helped out Junk Town get rid of the fat gizmo. Still pretty early. I'm going to wait for an hour, actually. See if the doc will wake up. I could use a heal. Back morbid, how can I help you? I know about the iguana. I know about you and iguana Bob, you filthy butcher. What could you possibly mean? I had a little conversation with the troll. He looked shiftly from one side to the other. That proves nothing. Gotcha. Little. Gotcha is a little slow in the head. No one listens to him around here. You best leave. Oh, he's very shady. Like your style, if I don't like you, what can I help you with? I'm not gonna let him heal me. What if I ask him about Iguana Bob? He won't talk to me. Oh, cool. Nothing. Just make you small talk. Please make it someone else. I'm busy. Gizbo's is now emptied. I think I killed the casino. Let's loot his bodyguard's body and Gizmo's body. Oh, what? His body isn't here? Damn it. Take everything from Gizmo's remains. We accept these iguana bits. Take the Mauser pistol. Or it's locked. And we unlock it with 25%. Not ever to pick the door. Unlock the door. Perfect. Let's see what loot he has in his bedroom. Guns and bullets. A magazine. That. Gets cash in here. Take all the cash. Take the bag too. I can sport stuff into it. Go sleep. Go sleep. Okay. If I unlock this, just to level up. Uh, 
I should knock the door nice. We go down to Killian Dark Waters store, sell some gear, and I'm gonna rest a bit for nighttime. See if something happens if I go in at night in the bar. So that was unfortunate. Note to self, do not read books and doors because you will be locked inside. And also something I learned, you can break locks. So let's go ahead and equip the armor I got. I already went ahead and traded most of the goods. Let us read the medical book. No, that's not what I want. It's nighttime. So now let's head on over to the tavern. We call it the Skag Pit. Skank Pit. Come on in. Hey, my friends. My name said Bunny. What is, what is this place? You know, it looks at you quizzically for a moment. Haven't you ever seen a bar before, stranger? This is my place, the Scum Pit. You buy drinks here, and you tip me. For a thing, you got any info for me? What's the scoop on this town? Well, just over there to the west of us is Gizmo's Casino. I'd be surprised if you don't know that already. Most of the people here are the ones who just sit, finish losing their money there. Over in the other part of town, you got Killian General Sword and Marcellus Trash House. Kaylin's a good guy, he runs a straight joint, carries everything you need. The Trash House is where you sleep it off when you're done in here for too long. Neil chuckles. Thanks for the info. See you around. Yes. You bitch, what? The slapped her. Oh, Saul, where are you? Oh, shit. Skull's Ganger was hit for 45. Get the hell out of here, you goddamn punks. If you ever touch her again, I'll kill you. Oh, nice. Let's take this. I should have got the stim packs instead of the armor. I regret that. I didn't know I was going to get this here. What's the trophy on the shelf? That's not a trophy. That's an urn. It contains my wife's ashes besides... This bar, it is the most important thing in my life. Oh shit, that's morbid. Sorry about that, my friend. Interesting. So this guy just killed the skulls. I'm guessing no one's in Gizmos anymore. If no one's in here, I'm gonna head down to the crash house to see the skulls. I guess no one's here. Let's go talk to the skulls. Let's see what Vince has to say. Oh, Vinny, sorry. What do you want now? I'd like to join you guys. You want to join us, huh? How do you... We know you're tough enough to be a skull. Trust me, I'm tough enough. Vinny thinks for a second. If you want to prove you belong in the skulls, I want you to steal the old bastard's wife's ashes. <laughs> Vinny mumbles. Let's make Neil suffer. For his last couple hours. Sure thing. I'll do it. You're hard enough to do that. Maybe you make skull after all. Bring it here once you've got it. But Bunditsky's guys are just small time raiders or a little gang. It's not worth his time. I think Killian has more potential for earning for earning money. But Bundy only really cares about the murder. Someone has to die at the end of the day. And if Ted Bunny can make that happen quicker, they'll be happy to do so. It seems like the bar is closed and he has gone to sleep. Let me steal this now. Okay, I got it. Let's go, let's go. Run away. Let's go talk to Vinny. 